There's a great Japanese proverb that says, time laughing is time spent with the gods. And J.K. Chesterton once said that angels can fly because they take themselves lightly. I wanted to talk about humor today, especially uh, with regard to my whack job comment in the video of Eric and Dick. I know that many people took offense to my term using the term whack job, and I'm very sorry uh, for hurting some people's feelings. I was referring to myself as a whack job in part because I think humor is so important to my recovery. One of my favorite Seinfeld episodes was that episode where Jerry was offended at another guy, his dentist, uh, telling Jewish jokes. And so the guy converts to Judaism so he can tell Jewish jokes. In the meantime, Jerry tells a, a joke about a dentist, and the dentist accuses him of being an anti-dentite. I guess that rule applies in my life, I think. Um, I don't tell Jewish jokes because I'm not Jewish. However, I can tell Catholic jokes because I'm Catholic. And so I use the term whack job and nutball and so forth in my writing because I am mentally ill and I feel like I've earned the chance to use those words. Now, if someone comes to me and who's not mentally ill, who doesn't take medication, who doesn't go through all of the ups and downs and everything that I work through in the day, if someone comes out and says something like, oh, that whack job, yeah, I, I would be offended. In fact, I, <laughs> I remember when one of my friends accidentally forward, accidentally copied me on an email she was writing to uh, a colleague and said, you know, Therese isn't that loopy. I know everybody thought she was. And I was very hurt by that because I said to her in my email, I said, I can call myself loopy, but you can't. It's like when you gripe about your mom, but then as soon as your spouse does it, you get offended. There's lots of evidence today out on the fact that humor heals, laughter heals. Um, it boosts our immune system, it reduces high pressure, high blood pressure. It's good all around. The nurses at the psych ward knew this, and they had us watch these comedian videos when we were there. And I remember being in such a state of pain and resisting the urge to laugh because I was just in so much pain and I didn't want to laugh. And it reminded me of how my kids are when they're in the middle of a tantrum. And sometimes I will make a pig face or do my comedy tragedy to make them laugh and they want to laugh so hard but they just want to have that tantrum too and so finally they just burst and they laugh and there's such a relief in that there's such a release uh, that's what the nurses went for at the psych ward and it worked I mean the the openness in those rooms after we watched that comedy it there was just a different feel uh, people weren't as scared Another reason, though, why I hang on to humor and why humor is so important to me in my life is because it dates back to one of the last conversations I had with my father before he died. And my father had the best sense of humor of anyone I've ever known. I mean, he, his, his quick wit was just so charming. And his ability to make virtually anyone laugh, um, it's one of the things that I, I truly loved about him. And I remember I was sort of a solemn and somber kid. I was always um, confronting anxiety and fear, it seemed like. I was also very conscientious and studious, and I wanted more than anything to please my mom and dad as a kid, and well, I never really grew out of that. But my dad, when I graduated uh, with a theology degree from Notre Dame, he said, I'm worried about you. And I was thinking, oh no, you know, he's mad about my B plus in Christology. And he said, I'm worried that you're not having enough fun. And I'll always remember that. I'm worried that you're not having enough fun. I remember that every day. 
And in doing these videos and in writing my blog, sometimes I hope and wish that my dad could see me and be proud that I'm starting to have some fun.